From Mumbarara through the winding hills, you are welcome to Ibanda district by the beautiful scenery and the flourishing agribusiness. The sprawling town on this slope reveals the booming trade. On arrival, the people here will tell you why their town is the best in the region. And a good thing in Ibanda, the youth are all employed because they are even expecting to get the loans from the, for the youth. So they will buy border borders, they will start their own businesses. And the people of Uganda have competition. And that's something that helped us. They are not extravagant. They are savers. The district is proud of being one of the food baskets of Uganda. The booming trade in coffee and banana is the secret behind the rapid growth of this town. You will find many, about five coffee processing plants which have contributed to the wells around here. As you go beyond here, you will find that we have got cattle farmers. You find someone with about 2,000 heads of cattle. And uh, I hear these people, um, they are also blessed with gold in areas of Buheju and some areas of Uganda. There are some areas where they mine gold. Also, it has contributed to the waste of this area. And if you venture deep, the historical aspect of this town is revealed. This heap of stones on the roadside is believed to be the spot where George Gold, a colonial administrator, was killed by a slave. Uh, his story tells us that his death became a source of misery for the residents. They were given a punishment to carry stones from a long distance to form this pyramid. But as time went on, the historical importance is slowly fading from the community. And because of the booming trade, the construction of high-rise buildings is in high gear. The mayor of Ivanda town believes he will steer the growth of this town towards a modern urban center. We started by putting up, uh, planting trees, which I think we have seen. Now we are working on the pavers and we encourage people to do all this themselves because the council doesn't have enough money. The growth of Ivanda town has gone through a number of stages, starting from a trading center and then a sub-district, and now it enjoys the status of a district. But a lot needs to be done to take it to another level, especially in the area of physical planning and also attracting investors. However, this veteran journalist believes in order to take this town to another level, the residents have to open up to new and innovative business ventures. We have to change the way we are working around here. People think that if the, produ if the man is engaging in produce, in produce buying, that is the only business. Others think that the, you, may, you may find that in Iba and almost every shop you go in, they are buzz. Indeed, as the sun sets on Ibanda and the town goes to sleep, the locals here retreat to the drinking joints. Hilara Yesiga, NTV.